Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Mesolat Visual. Today I'm going to share with you some of the presentation styles that we use in our visualization um, workflow. What you see on your screen is a, a location map or a Google map that indicates the site of this project. So it's a commercial project and what we're going to do, we're going to have this animated or the site animated to be like more an opener or video opener. We have a visualization of the entire 3D of the 3D concept of this project. So what we need to do is to more like create a video opener that would indicate the site on a map, on a Google map. So this will be interlinked together with the video that I've prepared for from the Google Earth. As you can see that will direct you, lead you to the site. And then once it's got here, this the animation of the site will take over so yeah that's basically what i wanted to to share with you today so i'm going to use um after effects web um, software so i'm going to open a new composite and call this um, site animation and i want the duration for this video for this clip to be 12 seconds i think 12 seconds is fine i'll hit ok and then from here i'm i will drag and drop the the map that i'm going to animate so let's go back to the folder and drag um, this to the after effects once you got the um the map here you can drop it to the time frame or the time frame of after effects so the first thing that i need to do is to rename this let's rename it and call it the map there we go <coughs> And then if you select it you can see it's not fitting perfectly to the frame of of this composition so it's smaller than that so we need to scale it up to fit and cover the black areas so I'll go here on the arrow to access the transformation settings or, or whatever parameters and then i'll scale this up to fill in the frame like so there we go perfect we are done with the setting up of our map the next step is to draw uh, and indicate or draw a path that will indicate the blood boundary for our project so let me just zoom in there a bit and then make sure the the layers there's no layer that has been selected i'm going to use a pen tool click on the pen tool and like i said make sure there's no layer that is selected because what you want to do is to add another layer for for the pen or for the path of the um uh, boundary the plot boundary line so what i'll do i'll just draw over here with the pen tool for the side um, path just like that to end here another one will be here then we need another one there then another one here and close it off like so perfect let me zoom in to fit oh. we can say fit perfect so what we need to do now we have a layer for this um, shape we created i will just right click on it and rename it and call um, plot call it plot boundary line perfect and then from here i want to make a copy of this because i'm gonna need a fill as well so i'll control select this and control c and paste and then i'll rename this to be a plot boundary fill there we go then from here this i'll switch it off and then what I'll do for this one, I'll go to its settings, then under contents, let's open up the shape and delete fill. Just select it and hit delete. And then under the stroke, I'll change the line cap to round cap and then the line joint to also round joint. So let's zoom in a bit so that you can see the changes instantly. And then what we need to also do is to change the stroke width to 5 
just to make it more thicker. I like the color white. I think color white is fine. I'll leave it as as it is. Then from here, I need to animate this to more like someone is drawing over this to show you the site. But before you do that, you can also make sure this is it's perfect according to what you want. You can click on path and then you can zoom in here with this point. You can modify this. Modify this. Look. Just like that. And then same to this one. Perfect. Let's fit. Let's fit this that way. I think everything is fine. So what you need to do is to animate this. If you come here, there's an add menu. Click on add menu and then let's bring the trim path. Under the trim path settings, let's open it up. And then I'm going to animate the end. So what I'll do, I'll say keyframe this from the start to is going to be zero and then from the end, I think it could be under six seconds, it will be 100% visible. So if you move this back and play it, it will draw a line that way, as you can see. And then once it's, it's finished drawing a line, I want to fill this with a different color, maybe a red color and all the legs. So that is where the role of, uh, let's close it off. But that's where the role of the fill it will come into play. So once it's it's completed the drawing, then the fill I will maybe stretch this to start here, and then let's switch it on so that when it's draw like this, and then it can fill just like that. And then this fill I want it to be more like let's go to the transformer and change the opacity to 50%, just like that, to have a, a nice feel. So from the feel, what I want, I want them to be, to pop out as well, not just to have one thing. So what I'll do, I'll keyframe the opacity. So I'll say under, from maybe eight second, it will, it will be, let's keyframe it, and then it will be on 50%. When it gets here, it goes up or down to zero. Not even a zero, just less. Even 20% is fine. And then when it gets here, it goes back to this. I'll copy the 50% um, keyframe and paste it there. Copy, paste. There we go. So, so that it can make more like a bubble. Yeah. So I can select all this and right click um, or just hit on F9. Select them, hit on F9. Easy out. Right click and keyframe assistant. Easy, easy. Do the same with this one. And easy, easy. So let's do that and see. Start it over again. Yeah, I think the feel, the feel is we need to also make it quicker. So what I'll do is select this and bring them somewhere there. Same applies to this. Same applies to that. Then let's play. with the with everything but um that's basically what i wanted to share with you and you can add an effect a sound effect for this so yes if you want more of this you can give me a comment 
I'll be waiting for your comments, guys, once this video is up. So I'll respond to every comment that we got there. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.